but there's no indoor substitute for rugby union. It's the real thing when England kick off against Scotland at Twickenham in the Calcutta Cup. From a line-out, Nigel Horton deflects, and with only two minutes gone, Alistair Hignell times his run to put Mike Sleeman over in the corner. England 4-0. Rucking is rough. To the most unbiased onlooker, England have the run of play. Scotland's defence is desperate but controlled. England, predictably, dominate the scrums. England drive forward yet again. There's a cunning up and under by Squires. The move fails, but it brings a penalty kick for England. Neil Bennett kicks three points for his side from an impossible angle. England up 7-0. Downhearted, Scotland attack. Andy Irvin running for the line, kicks forward. And Rutherford's there to touch down. Scotland failed to convert, but the boys from over the border are back in the fight. England 7, Scotland 4. In the second half, England swing back into attack. Scotland's defence rallies desperately as Sleeman heads for the corner. Try disallowed. It's still 7-4 to England. Although England have the run of play, the home crowd is despondent. England on the move. A drive into Scottish territory looks promising, but those rugged Scots stop it short of the line. At times, the play runs ragged. Scotland desperate to close the narrow gap. England striving for a few more points that will make them safe. Now, Scotland take the initiative. England 7, Scotland 4, and time slipping away. The crowd hopes that three points may yet be enough. But Scotland comes swinging back into the attack. Then agony from English supporters as Scotland win the chance for a penalty and take it. It's 7 all. What a climax. England are frantic. They hurl themselves towards the Scottish line. No luck, still 7 all. Final hope in English hearts is a penalty, but that misses. It's all over, the first draw in 14 years. An indecisive result in this 100th year of Calcutta Cup rugby.